I'm David Kino, and today on the Hollywood MMA Show Hotline, I have the one and only a good friend of mine, King Kevin Casey. How you doing, sir? I'm good, man. Thanks for having me on the show. We 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 got to get you in the studio at at some point in time. Uh, we last caught up with you at RFA after your victory. Uh, what, what's going on with you right now? You know, right now I have uh, you know some some things in the works that I you know I can't really you know, speak in, in great detail about, but, you know, look forward to, uh, to seeing me back in the ring ASAP. So, you know, I'm, I'm running a training camp right now. I have a lot of great guys around me. Everyone's working hard, and, uh, you know, I'm just getting ready to, you know, to make some more noise out here in the MMA world. Right, and the reason why I have you on, um, today there was a big controversy. The video came out between Jason Mayhem Miller and Uriah Hall, Uriah Hall obviously being uh, your your former teammate from The Ultimate Fighter Season 17. Are, are you familiar with that incident? Yeah, I heard some things in the, uh, in, in the social media, you know, in regards to, you know, how, how the situation happened. And, you know, it, it, really, it really wasn't shocking to me that, that Mayhem Miller was, was in the news once again. Considering you know his, his um, you know his long rap sheet and you know some of the other things that he's been involved in, but uh, you know I guess the, the what it did catch me off guard was the the, uh, the racial slurs that I believe were were used. You know if I if I'm wrong I stand corrected, but you know that that caught me a little off guard. Well, well let, let's talk about that. Uh, you saw you, you've seen the video. You you've heard the. Uh... Jason Mayhem Miller used the N word, but he used it as um, with an A at the end as a term of endearment. But is that is that okay for someone that is not that is white to even use anything remotely near that? You know what? It's touchy anytime you you get on the subject of race. You know, first and foremost, and you know, especially in a situation where. It is considered to be a hostile situation, and it didn't really look like they were having a friendly conversation. And um, you know, I, you know, I spent a lot of a lot of time with Uriah in the uh, in the tough house, and he, he has a decent character. You know, sometimes he, you know he goes off a little bit, but overall he, he's a nice guy. So you know, if, if you get that guy upset, you know he's probably because you, you did something wrong. So you know, I'm guessing that that, that Miller. You know, they initiated the uh, situation, and, and Uriah probably felt like he was forced forced to respond. Right. What what allegedly happened was uh, Miller was yelling at an ex girlfriend of his, and she was crying, and he kept on yelling at her, making her feel bad. And Uriah actually came in to to help out and see what's going on. Is that something that's within Uriah's character? Yeah, that sounds that sounds uh, very hall like. And I, I just want to get back to the subject of, of the N word. So, are, are you saying that if it was different um, circumstances, that it, it may have been uh, a different in your mind if, if Miller had said that? Yes, definitely. Every everything depends on the uh, the situation because you know, amongst amongst friends, you know, sometimes um, it can be used in, in, in a joking way and. Over time, I think a lot of people have developed a thicker skin to the to the negative, you know, um, the negative feelings that go along with with you know um, racism as a whole. So we're a lot we're a lot more accepting of, of things that you know used to be a lot worse back in the days. But you know, it all depends on the situation, and it all depends how it's used, and you know what what the situation um, involves. So. I feel like any time it's, it's a hostile situation, that's definitely not one of the uh, one of the words you want to throw out there. Right. So, so you're you're one of the the people that are are more along the lines of if it's okay for one person to say it, as a term of endearment, it's okay for everyone else, as opposed to saying, well, you can't say it because of your color of the skin. You're saying it's more of the situation, correct? Yes, I mean, it also depends, you know. If you're, Friend, or this is somebody you don't know. You don't know from the streets, so 
it, everything depends on the situation and circumstance. You know, just like, uh, you know, words words have, you know, sometimes a double meaning. Sometimes you, you, you may say somebody, uh, somebody is stupid, and if you take it literally, it's negative. And then sometimes, you know, you say somebody's stupid, and it just means that, you know, somebody is, is out there taking risk and doing something that, you know, you actually are giving them respect for. So, you know, it, it, you know when, it, when it comes to, um, you know, the use of, of some words, as almost a, a, slang, a slang perspective, and then you have a little perspective of, of uh, you know, what the word is. Right. So uh, there's a lot of people, though, out there that um, that I, I would call them hypocrites because they, they say, well, you shouldn't say that word if you're a certain race or color, but then they use it themselves. So your, your view is actually opposite of theirs where, where you're saying, hey, if everyone can do it, depending on the circumstance, they can do it. If it's the wrong circumstance, um, no one should use it. If, if, so you're basically saying... You're basically being fair to everyone about it, right? Yeah, everything everything is circumstantial. You know what I'm saying? Like, if if, if a cop kills somebody, you know, protecting someone, it's okay. But if you you know if you kill someone in cold blood, then you go to jail. So you know, all in all, I think that you know murder is wrong. But you know the circumstance of, 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 of you know how it takes place makes a big difference. Know, socially in in society, right? And then that would be that would be you know kind of an example, to, to, you know, an extreme example uh, of, of you know how I look at things. Right. I, I don't want to hit on that topic too much. I mean, you you pretty you did a good job and then spoke well on that. So switching topics real quick, Leo Machida, Mark Munoz, um, training partners, they got it on um, UFC Fight Night in Manchester. Do you think that training partners should fight each other? For instance, Ken Velasquez and Daniel Cormier so they won't fight each other. There's people from different camps that won't fight each other. What, what's your view on that? I feel I feel that in a situation where you're you you're, you're truly are training partners, where you're working out on the on the day to day, you know, weekly basis, you guys are sharing you know sharing knowledge and you're seeing the in, intricate details of each other's game. And, you know, you're, you're, you're creating a camaraderie, you know, and, and, and almost a brotherhood. So I feel like in, in that way, it makes it um, a little more difficult to, to engage in the fight because it, it, it's hard to, to go in there with 100% malice and, and want to really, you know, hurt hurt somebody that, you know, helps you out or somebody that you, you care about. So, you know, it's almost like, it's almost like fighting a brother. So I feel like... Um, in the case of, of, of Mark and Lyoto, I feel like, you know, they were just beginning to become training partners and and, 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 and um, growing as, as friends. And I think it was a, you know, a little bit different circumstance. But, you know, all in all, you know, I'm, I'm very much against fighting my training partners and fighting my friends. Because, you know, when, when I go in the ring, I'm, I'm ultimately there to, to put the other person out and, fast as possible and, and usually you have to have bad intentions so it's sometimes hard to um, you know be around someone and you know know their family you know their kids say hi to their wife and then you know the next time next week or whatever you're there to do, do damage and, and hurt them actually i took a lot of flack for this um on on the show a few months ago as well as an article i wrote because i said that I don't think that training partners should fight each other because I agree with you 100% that it's more of a brotherhood and that you're trying to hurt each other. Whereas you got some friends that go in there and they say, well, it's just business. But um, I actually agree with you on everything you said because of those those reasons. And, and actually, you broke it down a little bit more. I mean, you're spending time with their family, their kids, and, and the next week you're trying to take them out. So it, it's a little bit different than football or basketball where, where you're friends and you're playing against each other, would, would you agree? Definitely. You know, in, in, in a way, it's, uh, it, it's almost like you're, like, you're, like you're selling a piece of yourself because if you didn't need the money, I very seriously doubt that you would fight 
anybody who's close to you. So, you know, you're, you're going against something that, that you know is, like, you're doing something that you, you don't feel is right within. But at the same time, it's part of your job and it's part of your income. And, you know, you can't, you can't feed your family if you don't go out there and, and do what the, what the boss wants you to do. So, you know, in, in that sense, it's almost like you're, you're selling a piece of yourself, you know, and, um, I don't think anybody feels good about that. And and just to close that out, in, in regards to Machida and Munoz, you were saying that you don't think that they had developed that friendship yet or it was just at the beginning mm -hmm. of it? Yeah, from, from what I know, you know, they, they, they were just beginning as, as training partners and, you know, they, they were just starting off their friendship. I don't, I don't know if it was a situation of them being, you know, close friends and, and, and um, consistent training partners. Right. Well, we definitely got to catch up with you. We got to. We're we're planning on, on coming out to Black House to to see how you're doing. Um, and when you do know your official date of your fight and and who you're fighting, will will we be the first to know? Two hundred percent. To. 200%. Well, well, that's Kevin Casey, one of the best MMA fighters in jiu-jitsu um, under Hicks and Gracie. Uh, I've known Kevin a while, and and after his last victory, there's nothing but, but the sky for him. Uh, anything you'd like to add, Kevin? No, thanks for having me on the show, and, uh, you know, everybody check me out on, on Twitter, Kevin K.O. Casey, on Facebook, Kevin K.O. Casey. And, uh, you know, just follow me and uh, look forward to greatness. And actually, one more question now that, that you, you plugged yourself. Um, GSP has said that he doesn't do one single tweet from his Twitter account. And I've, I've asked multiple fighters if they tweet. And everyone else says they, that they do tweet from the account. If someone tweets you, can, can they know that they're tweeting to Kevin Casey? back into the social media. I uh, feel that it's, uh, it's essential for, for a fighter, fighter, you know, especially like myself, that has come in, you know, that's been in the public um, public eye and trying to reestablish myself and, and get back to the UFC to, to build that fan base and, um, and just, you know, reach out to the fans and, and make sure that I'm, I'm accessible to the people who care about seeing my career go further. That's the king, Kevin Casey, on the Hollywood MMA Show Hotline and your MMA Show News. You can follow me at the D-K-A-N-O and go to our website, thehollywoodmmashow.com and MMA Show News on YouTube. Thanks again for your time, Kevin. King out.